Hello everyone, my name is the Legendary Porpoise and we are here today on my first ever Minecraft tutorial on how to build this medieval gate, entrance to a city, whatever you want to call it. Um, so instead of just sitting here talking for five minutes, let's jump straight on into this build and get going. Alright everyone, it looks like we're just going to jump right into this. So as you can see, I already have the outline of both towers set. And we're just going to go over some quick dimensions here so you can get a good view of it. As you can see, this is a square. We're just going to have one, two, three, four, five blocks in a line. That's all it is, a square with five blocks. And we're going to have two sticking out here. This is the interior of the arch. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12 blocks in between the arches. And we're going to go over that in part 2 uh, once we're done with this. So let's just get started. We're going to work right here at the base where these cobblestone walls are. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to build up all four of these lines four blocks high. We're using stone bricks blocks. So there we are. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're just going to repeat that the entire way around. It's very easy, and I'm going to tell you right now, this build is extremely repetitive. I mean, you could probably do it in your sleep if you built it just twice. It's that repetitive, but it's a good, solid build. It looks great with tons of other things, so this is definitely something we can work with, and I think all of you are going to enjoy it and be able to customize it to however you want, which is exactly what we're looking for. Alright, so now that we have that built up, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two blocks here, we're going to build them up 19 high, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oop, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. This is going to be the backbone of the build. It's going to be kind of uh, what we can go off of for the rest of the tower, and we know we're doing it correctly. And you'll see that as we build each section. And that's exactly how we're going to do this, section by section. I want to make this as easy as possible for every single one of you who are watching and paying attention. So here, we're going to start at the lower detail. What we're going to do is we're going to still going to take our stone brick blocks. We're going to place one in the corner. All right, we're going to place one on the outside, one in the middle, and one on the outside. So one space between them on each of those walls of five blocks wide. And we're going to repeat this all the way around once again, just like so. And then also we're going to finish that one in the corner. Now we're going to take our stone brick stairs. At this point, you're going to want to take the stone brick stairs and face them going towards the arch just on this one side. Okay, only when it faces the interior of the arch. The other stairs you're going to place just like this, one on the outside, inside, outside, inside, and outside again. For this corner, we're going to place them facing each other. Okay, it's very, very simple. Stairs once again on the outside just like that. And then on the corner, the stairs facing each other. And, you know, rinse, repeat. <laughs> and for this, of course, we're going to do the two stairs facing inward towards the arch. And that's what we're looking at so far. Once again, it's very basic. I know it looks very bland. Um, I'm going for a more realistic look but this is what we're gonna work at. So now we're gonna take these cobblestone walls, we're gonna build them up three high on all the blocks. Okay, it's not gonna jump on any stairs, it's only gonna be on the blocks. So we're gonna go three high all the way around. Just like that. All right, so now we're actually gonna be moving on to the end of this first segment. So we're going to take our stone brick stairs, we're going to place them on top of the three cobblestone walls, and then we're going to place a stone brick block on the corners. Okay, very easy to remember. So we're going to block on the corner, stone brick stairs on the first three there, and then block in the middle, or on the corner should I say, and repeat that all the way around. Now at this point we're going to take some cobblestone slab, throw them right there in the middle, and then take some stone brick stairs and throw those underneath the cobblestone slab. And once again, we repeat it all the way around.
All right, so now we are looking really good. So to finish this layer off, we are going to fill this in with one more row of stone brick blocks all the way around, just like so. If I could actually place my blocks right. <laughs> and there you have it. So if you're looking like that, we're good. Now we're gonna move on to the actual window segment. Like. I'm actually going to change this in part two. I'm going to put glowstone in the middle, but for right now, we're going to build it just how we have it. So in order to give us another instruction, we're going to put a uh, oak wood right there, and we're going to go 10 high, as you can see here. And it starts one layer above. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to do that on all four corners, and this is going to give us the structure for our windows and our multiple layers that we're going to have here. So, oop, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So now we can get started on the windows. I like spruce planks, but you can, of course, use any plank you want. I just think the spruce planks look really good with the trap doors we're going to throw on there shortly. We're going to go four high. As you can see here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to take our stone brick stairs, we're going to throw two in front, one inside the planks, and then we're going to mirror that on the top with some upside down stone brick stairs. Now we're going to take the cobblestone wall, we're going to throw it on the corners, and then we're going to take two oak fence, or whatever fence you want, and do that, and then complete it with some more cobblestone walls. And we're going to literally repeat that all the way around. Now one thing that I am going to show you, and this is up to you, I like to use the birch trap doors as almost like armor for the tower because it doesn't look like shutters. It looks like, like armor plating almost. So once again, we're just going to repeat that all the way around, four planks high. We're going to get our stone brick stairs, throw them at the bottom, throw one inside, and then mirror that on the top half, finish up with our cobblestone walls and fence, and we're just going to repeat that. So I'm going to fast forward through this let you get through it and uh, we'll meet back up shortly. All right, guys, so it looks like we've completed that. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. So now we're going to start off on this second part here. It's literally a mirror of what we just did. And we're going to start by lining up the outline once again with stone brick blocks. The same thing, that line of five, we're just going to copy that. Don't worry about that corner piece. It's not important. So we're just going to keep on moving. Now, as I said, you're going to want to mirror this image. And there's only two differences, and they're both minor differences, and they're purely purely cosmetic so it's totally up to you if you want to follow them as you can see we're gonna put our stone uh, brick stairs but instead of doing one there we're gonna put a stone brick block okay and still do our upside down stairs now on the sides of course we have our cobblestone wall and we're gonna put our fence up now the only difference is the part that connects here we're only gonna put one fence and then the cobblestone wall on top. Those are the only two exceptions, that and the stone brick block in the middle. That's the only difference. So once again, mirror exactly what we've been doing. And of course, once again, we're just going to fast forward through this so you're not waiting five minutes for a little piece to build. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we are back and we are pretty much done. Uh, we're just going to add a few finishing touches. As you can see here, we're going to put three blocks along that support, two blocks on the corner, one in the middle, and then two more on the outside. It should look just like that. And at this point, we're going to take some cobblestone stairs, throw them upside down, make kind of like a ledge right there, and then we're going to fill that in with cobblestone walls. So this is just the railing because uh, this is the highest part of the tower where your 
people can go and defend it. So once again, two on the corner, one on the middle, two on the corner, our upside down cobblestone stairs, and our cobblestone wall. We're going to repeat that all the way around. And then we're pretty much done with part one uh, of this build. Now the second part, we are going to dive a little bit more into the detail and the finite features of this build. It's still not much, but it's a little bit. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for having your patience with me. Uh, part two will be coming up soon enough to where we take care of the roof, the archway, and the cover. Thank you once again. Like I said, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for asking me to do this. And I hope that you understood it well. I will see y'all next time. Later.